All right, what is up, suckers? Welcome back to another video, wherever you guys are watching from, on the toilet, lunch, dinner table, where the hell ever. Thanks a lot for tuning in. I hope you guys are having a great day, great evening, wherever you guys are. As you guys can see, I am out here fishing in Mission Bay from a pontoon. My first time ever on a pontoon. Yeah, ever. And uh, I am out here with Ken, Joseph, and Dave. Uh, we kind of a late start, huh? Don't you guys think? Yeah. It's like 7.30 right now, 7.15. They didn't let us out of uh, the marina until we got some sort of daylight but as you guys can see it's gonna be a gloomy morning i was out here yesterday doing some foot patrol alongside fiesta right behind me and over at dana right over there and it was terrible it was bad i was only caught one so hopefully today we'll make up for that i, I guess yesterday was kind of a pre-fish from shore but yeah we're out here i'm gonna get off of this camera slap you guys on my chest i'm already rigged up and you know, get my lines wet and hopefully catch some fish. So you guys stay tuned and enjoy the show. Let's go. Start off with the Jika rig. Yeah. All right, we'll stay here for like five minutes. Then we'll move in more. Find deeper water. Oh, and I got a cup holder. This is fancy. <laughs> <laughs> and a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad for my first time on a pontoon. I mean, should do this more often, I guess. Yeah, right. <laughs> when the bite's hot because we fish on the blue skiffs all the time but with three people it's just it's too much of a crowd on there i think we're fishing an incoming tide tide should peak around 10 o'clock and what daylight savings tomorrow morning lose an hour of sleep bring them up i'm gonna move to a better spot all right spot number two already huh with this cold weather, we gotta keep moving around, find them, because they're not gonna be waiting for you. We gotta go look for them. Maybe they like moving bait, I don't know. What happens if I go small? Because everyone's throwing like, what, three inch grubs and shit? 2.8? Oh, do I leave my grubs in another bag? Spot number three. Start off with Kai Tech real quick. Hey, one of us gotta catch something, man. There it is. Albert. You can bounce him. Get up in here. Yeah. Was that on a Jiko or just a jig head? Uh, jig head. So it's like what, 15 inches? Something. 15, 16? Hey, Ken, you have a small extra white gap hooks? Yeah. It's like size two? Uh, G lock. Yeah, let me get one. All right. Yeah. You have a, you have a size one? Yeah. Is that bigger? Yeah, it's bigger. All right, let me get a one. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, good spotty. Good spotty. It's like five inches. Nice. Hell yeah. There you go. A couple more casts and we're going to move in that way a little bit more and drift back out. All right, All right spot number four. <laughs> there it is. Nice, dude. He's digging. You know, I felt a little tick, but I wasn't sure. Then he started like swimming off with it. I'm not sure what it is, but it's not really shaking. Oh, it's a spotty. Yeah, <laughs> with grass. Yeah. Got my little tiny Kitek. Peace out, homie. All right, Joseph, get on one, bro. I believe in you. That was a good bite right there. Damn! God, the way this rod handles though. I like the bend on it. 
yeah. I think we found him. I think we found him. Oh no, he spat my bait out. Oh, you jerk. Sometimes you just gotta manhandle it. There it is, another grass bass. Hell yeah. I'm telling you, bro, I have to downsize to a little tiny two inch. Yeah, I'm getting bit. That's why I love fishing Texas rig. You actually get to set the hook. Oh yeah. Or a weedless drop shot. All right. I'm gonna try to go head in so we can drift backwards out. That way all of us can cast that way. Cause we're pulling out this way. You wanna go with the current. All right. Oh, right there. No way. Dang. Sporty. Oh, hey. It's a sporty. Nope, nope, not today. Not today. I am not the one. Right when it hit the water. Hell yeah. Dude, we're going to run through these Kai Techs like nothing. I'm going to just use this one. <laughs> Bait's a little big, but something will swallow it. There it is. Hi, Told you to cast towards the water. <laughs> yeah. All right, time to go home. We all caught a fish. Uh, yeah. Skunks, off. Skunks off on the boat. Yeah, we, we know they're here, so I don't think we should move anytime soon. There we go. Smallest bass all morning. All right, that's quattro. That's Italian for four. <laughs> oh. Or they brought us on bite again. Are you on? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, oh. I saw my line twitch before I felt it. And this is why I like fishing high vis line. See the bite before you feel it. Cinco. That's Spanish for five. <laughs> Dude, this is the same bait I've been throwing. It's all destroyed. Gotta perform plastic surgery once again. Oh, I missed that one. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I'm swinging a miss. Oh, I saw a bait jumping. I saw a bait jumping. Show yourself. It's a yellow tail, bro. Macro. Right there. That was a bite. Dude, that was right at that boil. Oh, this guy's pulling, bro. <laughs> it's a spotty. For sure, it has to be a spotty. Feels heavy, though. Oh, damn. Look how big that spotty is, bro. What damn. Fuck? That's pretty big. <laughs> he spat out something too. All right, it up. Looks like a oh, damn. damn, son. Razor clamp. Was it razor clamp? Yeah, damn, look at the head on the guy. All right, there it is. I don't even know how big this is. All right, uh, what's the, is there a measuring thing on here? Yeah, there is right there. All right. All right, 29. Let's <laughs> get Ow! All right, 14. Nice. Yep, legal on the spot. 14 incher, peace out. We're approximately one hour and 28 minutes into fishing.
There it is. Huh? Yeah. For a little fish. Get in the boat. Yeah. There it is. Oh, broke me off. Clean off. Dude, broke me clean off. You know what? I think it's that fray I missed when I was tying, when I was pulling out line. Because it's the same color that I was looking for. Because I know for fat, there's going to be more frays in it. All right. Retie again. It's all good. Yeah, I saw that. I saw a little bit bait jump. Yeah, there's tons of bait right there. Right there, dude. Yeah, they're boiling right there. Nah, they, they're probably getting chased by bass. Cast right over there, bro. Oh, missed it. Missed it. Yeah, they're all right there. Tons of fish right there. Pants me. They're all over. Ooh, I heard that one. Ken's on. Dude, we're, we're on fire right now. Then that's a feisty one, bro. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Dude, they're boiling like crazy right there to your right. Go for it. I'm already close. Watch you get a freaking big ass pocket. Oh, right there. Oh, nice. Double. Yeah. This guy hit it like he stole it. <laughs> That was a good one too. Get in the boat. Double up, bro. Hell yeah. Cheers. Boop. <laughs> Taco grab. Sometimes you just gotta get in there, bro. Grab them like that. All right, dude. This is not bad. It's like a 13. For sure, 13, 12. There you go. Peace out, homie. Are you on? Yeah, Joseph's on again. Hell yeah, dude. We found them. They're feeding right now, too. So, if there's where, where there's bait fish, there's going to be some fish eating them. Oh, right at the drop. Oh, it came off. Damn. That was a brand new bait too. <laughs> we got three left. Wakes. Come in. Oh, right at the drop. He was sitting on it. On it. Go oh, cast it, bro. Cast it. Get out there. All right. Retie. <laughs> Just let it get to the bottom. Just what I was, what he's doing. He just, you're just popping and let it sink, pop, right? I'm doing something similar, but I'm as I pop, I'm cranking it at the same time, I'm trying to give it a little dark action like that. <laughs> Hey, every time I try to explain something, every time, bro. Show yourself. Oh man, not a big one, but it's one. The last count, I think we're up to at least almost 20. Here we go, another one. Damn, my thumb is jacked up. All right, here we go. Little tiny one, probably my smallest one all day. Start with a fresh pack of Easy Shiner. Electric Shad, two inch, down to two left. Yeah, double. 
This one's not that big, but a catch a catch. Catch is a catch. All right, hell yeah. Salute. <laughs> you see how they both twitched? Well, what do you guys think? So far, so good? Oh, yeah. Great day. It was a great day. Great morning. It is a great morning. We're still fishing. I'm taking a little break right now because my thumb's jacked up. I know. Big, big baby. Boo-hoo. Get over it. But it looks like they're all keying in on small bait. We did just come across a little school of dead uh, dead anchovies. Pretty crazy. There's like, what, 10 of them? Yeah. Dude, check it out. He's already on one. The bite's hot right now here in Mission Bay. Personally, I did not think we were gonna get this many fish or catch this many at all because it started off super duper slow and stressful the first, what, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, yeah. you guys should say? And then we decided to leave my original spot, which is like between Fiesta and Ski Beach and go over towards like Sail Bay over this way and gave uh, Crown Point a shot. And we did a couple of drifts, managed about 10 fish there and started drifting inwards towards I forget the name of the area, but yeah, I completely forget the name of the area. But we ended up managing almost 30 fish between all four of us. We have been fishing for a total of about two hours and 30 minutes, and so far, about 30 fish. And they're all quality. Well, some small ones, like some of them were maybe about like five, six inches, maybe three, four of them, but the rest were ranging from 12 to 14. We're having a good time right now. Like I said, get out here, figure it out. I mean, we started with jerk bait irons um bigger kite hecks swim baits and they just weren't keying in on it at all they weren't even biting it or sniffing it farting on it whatever so i decided to switch over to a little two inch uh what's it called kite tech easy shiner and sure enough they just started biting 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 so now everyone out here is right now is throwing small baits and they're all hooking up we're having a great time all right well that's enough of this talking let's get back to it let's go Dang, Dave. Right when we get here, huh? Showing me up. Damn. What is that, a rock? <laughs> a rock. Finally. I was beginning to think it was a dry spell. Yeah. Small, but not bad. There it is. Oh, oh, oh. He's on it. He's on it. Set the hook. <laughs> oh, reliable. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, no. Oh, my God. That is way tiny. Yeah. Sandy, bro. There it is. Hell yeah. Fish tank bass. Sandy, three species, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Peace out. Oh, that's a bite. Oh, this one feels good. Finally, one that puts up a decent fight. Well, not anymore. <laughs> Big ol' head on him. Yeah, buddy. Not bad at all. Until next time. I'm walking with you. You're walking with me? Yeah, Wanna okay. hold my hand? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> All right, well, we are done for the day. I mean, we caught well over 50 fish between the four of us. So I wanna give a special shout out to David and Joseph for coming out. 
and joining us on the pontoon and this bag has fallen. We are definitely gonna be doing it again. It was a great day. I mean, we caught well over 50 fish between the four of us. The fish out here in Mission Bay seems to be keying in on small bait fish, like anchovy size, like three inch and below. It took us a while to figure it out. Like the first 45 minutes was very hard because you guys know me when I go on a skiff or on a boat out of Mission Bay, I hit up my main spot, which is like between Fiesta and Ski Beach. But we spent like about 35, 45 minutes there. No love, not even a nibble. So we took a stab in the dark and shot over to a spot that I have not fished in a long time. And sure enough, man, um, it was just going off. I mean, before we found out what they were biting, uh, we were throwing jerk bait, spins, irons, you know, bigger baits, etc. And they, they just weren't biting in the beginning until we found the spot and saw a little tiny bait fish busting here and there. And sure enough, I put on a little two inch Kitek. It was just the bite was on. It was like nonstop action for what, two hours straight? Yeah. It was just nonstop. Straight. And it, it did slow down when the tide slacked out, but we did figure them out and they were, you know, cooperating. Like we got a bite about every two to five minutes. Then, uh, you know, we just got burnt out. We left the fish biting, put it that way. We left them to go to a spot where halibut should have been, but given the time of year, it is fall. They're not really around that thick. I don't know. I don't know. Have you guys been catching big halibut here in Mission Bay? Good for you because it didn't happen for us. We did catch one. Well, Ken did. Fall fishing in Mission Bay. Not bad at all. I mean, the past couple times we've gone out was really bad. Really bad. I mean, really, really bad. But then again, I was San Diego Bay and the other day, which was yesterday, I went out here in Mission Bay. I only managed one at Fiesta. Let me know in the comments below. How have you guys been doing? What's been working for you guys for fall fishing in Mission Bay or San Diego Bay or wherever you are? The past couple days have been tough, but this made up for it. I mean, by far, one of the better trips we've had all year and like 50 plus fish can't beat that i think we're planning another trip probably in two to three weeks yep. not sure yet if you guys like these pontoon skiff videos drop a thumbs up that would help me out a lot comment below your thoughts on the video if you guys enjoy this let me know i mean i would like to hear your feedback i'm gonna wrap it over there guys i'm tired i'm beat we've been grinding a straight four hours non-stop fishing but we did run into an issue before i leave i want to create this issue with the pontoon, yeah. right? It kept turning off on us. I, I don't know why, but that did slow us down a bit to get to certain spots, but we did manage and we did catch fish. We caught big ones, caught small ones. That's all that matters. We had a great time, great company. But yeah, the pontoon did crap out on us a couple of times. I hope they fix that issue for next time we come out or anybody else that comes out. So if you run into that issue, make sure you bring it up to, uh, you know, the guys over at Dana Lanning. They'll make it right for you. That pretty much sums it up. Again, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's it. <laughs> you guys already know, in all my videos, everything I use will be in the description below. Be sure to check that out. Rods, reels, all my gear, line, lure, underwear, everything. Down there in the description below. Be sure to check that out. All right, guys, as always, good fishing and peace the hell out. <laughs>